So it's been a while since I've done a video and this video is going to be hopefully quite a good one. So today we're going to be looking at weapon skill. Fatality. Let's go over briefly what weapon skill is for anyone who doesn't know. So in World of Warcraft Classic, every character basically has weapon skill and you need to level this skill up to 300 as you approach level 60. So increasing your weapon skill reduces your chance to miss when attacking a target. There is a second effect. Now if you attack a target of the same level or above, so typically in World of Warcraft Classic you'd be looking at 60 to 63, then there's a damage reduction because you start to get glancing blows and glancing blows will um, decrease your damage to about 70% of what it ordinarily is. Increasing your weapon skill to 305 for example, that reduces the glancing blow penalty significantly. Another thing is if you've got a weapon skill of 305 then you only need 6% additional hit instead of your regular 9% hit. So we're going to be looking at weapons which can give you additional weapon skill and items in the game. Awesome. So here we go, the Edge Master's handguards. These are probably the most famous and some of the most expensive items in the game and they provide a melee with plus seven in axes, seven in daggers and seven in swords. So again, if you've got this weapon skill bonus, this means you're only gonna need 6% hit from other items, you know, which is really easy to achieve. So when fighting a level 63 mob or at the end of a game, the hit cap is effectively 9% for yellow swings. This is due to the boss's defense skill of 315 and your weapon skill of 300. So if you're dual wielding, for example, then you really need at least a 9% equivalent hit rating. But if you have a weapon skill of 305, then you only need a 6% hit rating, and this is due to how Blizzard calculates differences. So effectively, an item with a 5% weapon skill is worth free hit, but you've also got the added bonus of the glancing blow damage reduction. There is some value in going above a 6% if you're dual wielding, and you are hit capped. Okay. Edge Master's handguards are extremely good and very extremely effective. And if you can afford these as a melee, then I would definitely do that if you're interested in using axes, daggers, or swords. Another thing I should mention is certain races in the game, such as humans and orcs, will get natural bonuses to weapon skill. Okay, so let's look at a few items, I guess. Now, the easiest item to get is the Mugger's Belt. And this will actually give you a uh, plus five dagger skill. This is what I'm currently using in the game at the moment. And I'm actually really benefiting from this. In fact, yesterday we were running AQ40, as you could see previously in the video. That was the uh, second highest DPS, which is good, and uh, I was having no problem. And this actually falls off the uh, tribute run, Diamond tribute run. Um, it's the boss before the last, uh, Captain Grom Crunch, and he's got about a 20% drop rate on this, guys. So you're probably going to want to farm this at least five times, or maybe it will drop off the first time. It took um, about nine runs for me to actually get this. So this is a relatively easy belt to get if you want to go with daggers. Tanks could use Corehound Tooth, which is um, a pretty decent dagger. Other weapons you could go for is the Distracting Dagger um, and the Aged Core Leather Gloves. Now the Aged Core Leather Gloves are pretty decent because, especially as a Fury Warrior, your gloves aren't amazing, but things like your belt actually are pretty amazing if you've kind of got base items. There's, um, I think there's an about 11% chance of these dropping in Molten Core. So again, that's not bad. There's also the Circlet of Restless Dreams. Circlet of um, Restless Dreams is actually falling off a world boss, so that's gonna be really hard for you guys to get. 
So, Horde Warriors can also opt to get the Obsidian Edged Blade, which is one of the swords I actually used to have before my current sword. And I think this gives you eight in swords. There's also the Bone Reaver's Edge, which is also strongly recommended um, because the proc reduces the enemy's armor. And lastly, there's the Expert Gold Miner's Helmet. You'll lose out on being able to use some of the best helms in Classic, such as the Lion's Lionheart Helm. So guys, let's just have a look at some of these weapons here. So again, this is an axe, which is obviously going to be very, very good with the Expert Gold Miner's Helm, which gives you plus seven in axes. So again, this is um, a really good possibility. I think this actually comes at the end of AQ40, so this is going to be quite a difficult blade to get and I think it needs either two or three of the really expensive ore to create but nevertheless this is um, a very very good sort of end game weapon so thank you very much for listening to all this guys please like and subscribe if you liked this video and you want to hear more about weapon skill or other parts of the game and have a fantastic Fatality. day and I will speak to you guys soon thank you very much